Hey, what's going on guys? It's John from Random Chivos again, and I have a legendary farming weapon guide here. Now, be fair warned, this is not unlimited weapons or armor. This is just a way to farm until you get the specific item that you're looking for. So what you need to do is you want to head over to the Haymarket Mall. It is located northeast of Diamond City to give you a reference since that's a main city within the game. And this is located around uh, three bodies of water, and then the only way you can get there is either by the bridges or from the mainland below. So what you want to do is you're going to have uh, raiders around, a whole bunch of raider camps, and a couple super mutants as well. Just kill all them, and then you'll find this location and head inside. And of course, once you get inside, there will be more raiders to deal with. They're not that hard to kill, but just depends on how high of a level you are and the weapons you have. But once you've killed them, head upstairs, and you're going to uh, enter an elevator, and this will enter. This will make you go up even higher within the building. And once you have done that, you want to be careful up here. There is a Protectron and a couple uh, turrets to fight off and, of course, more raiders. And right here, you're going to head up to this Haymarket Mall roof. Do a quick save right here before you do. You'll eventually reach this door. And on the other side is where the fun begins. Now, once you discover there's going to be another location when you step onto the roof and you'll discover it, it's going to trigger a death claw to continuously spawn from uh, beside of the, the side of the building. So, of course, you just want to kill him. Now, you're going to either get a Legendary or an Alpha Death Call. If it's an Alpha, just reload the checkpoint. That's why we saved before. And you can save even after the door. It's just I use that door spawn sometimes in case I wasn't getting any Legendaries. Just a whole bunch of Alphas. Kind of just to reset it. Just my thing. You don't have to do that. But, um, yeah, you'll run into a whole bunch of Legendaries. I found that Very Hard was the best difficulty to be on. Um, it seemed that I got a decent amount of legendaries over alphas, and they still weren't that too that hard to kill because I'm I'm using a fat man or this is the big boy variant of it, so it made them pretty simple to take care of. On normal, I didn't seem to find too many, so I kind of just switched on over. But uh, you're gonna find many things in here from different armor sets to explosive snipers. Uh, I found a lot of 10 millimeter pistols um, with a whole bunch of variants, of course, and. Um, also, a Gamma Gun and a few Flamers I found as well with a couple variants. It uh, wasn't anything that special for me. Um, some people I've heard have gotten like Gauze Rifles and other weapons that do like a thousand damage, which is insane. You will also find like this right here, a Pipe Wrench. I found a whole bunch of Tire Irons and things like that. Pointless things that you don't even need. But uh, it also depends on how high a level you are, of course. Since I'm only a level 17 as recording this, I'm assuming that's why I didn't seem to get... Uh, too many powerful weapons in my inventory as well, but there is a large variety of things that you can get in here Just got to keep farming over and over again uh, Sometimes yeah, it can get a little bit tedious, but eventually you will finally get the weapon that you really really want and uh, Yeah, it's basically it, you know Just remember you cannot get unlimited things and you will get a whole bunch of armor sets as well Some of them were really good with high uh, radiation or electric damage resistance along with regular damage as well. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helped, and uh, continue enjoying Fallout, and have a wonderful day.